But hey there folks, welcome back to Westby, Wisconsin. We're in April. And I've made some money. Actually, uh spent quite a bit of time doing a bunch of uh harvesting. No, I'm sorry, not harvesting. I did a few harvesting contracts. But I did a bunch of plowing contracts and some fertilizing contracts. Made quite a bit of money. You see I'm up to hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars. Now you may notice I'm in a tractor that I didn't have and using a mower that I didn't have. And well what I've done is borrowed some equipment from the community farm. Now nobody's on. I didn't ask. I just went over and took it. So hopefully those guys will be okay with that. <laughs> I think they will. Uh what am I mowing? Well we're we're in a piece of land. Let me show you real quick. Uh, if you recall, build or farmland tend over here. Builds 107, 108 is where I have set up shop. The shop is right down here. Well, right down this road, there's a triangle piece of grass. Now, here's the community farm over here. What I had done is back when I was trying to do some landscaping over here, I bought the, the free land on the map. This here in the blue. Value at $0. No, I can't sell it. Undoubtedly it has a placeable on it. So I can't sell it. And so I am stuck with it. At least for now. So I figured what I would do is make use of this little bit of land. Uh, so what we're doing? Make a little bit of hay. We've got this grass. That nice grass actually has grown up here. So we are getting it mowed down. And then we're going to go try and find a tether. A rake and then we'll get it bailed up with our little baler that we have I do like this little sickle mower that is old school don't see those in use very often anymore all right I'm actually having, <laughs> having trouble using the wheel there so let's just use the controller for this just can't make those turns fast enough I, I still haven't got my uh, wheel settings updated or corrected yet I'm a little bit low on sensitivity so I'm having to turn the wheel a whole lot but we don't have much left to go here you see I've been working on this actually uh, before I started recording trying to get most of it done I do know the key the guys on the uh, community farm were on last night and they were working on a big harvesting contract they they did that and then they also uh, bailed at the straw off of that contract to make quite a bit of money uh, they were up to uh, over a hundred thousand as well so the uh, straw when you use the uh, straw from contracts mod really really pays off we are still having some of the uh, contracts, well most of the harvested contracts I believe, if not all of them, are coming up short. Uh, but what I'm thinking is hopefully as we can go through and plow some fields, get them fertilized as part of contract work, maybe once it comes around to being ready to harvest again, hopefully the uh, fields will be in better shape and we'll get better yield off of it. Hopefully the contracts will complete. It is a little bit frustrating having to fudge in a little bit of extra materials to complete the contract. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting real close on getting this finished. Oh, I did buy a new tractor. I did buy another tractor. So we'll take a look at that here in just a little while. It is a slight upgrade from the International Harvester that I have. Not a huge upgrade, but just enough to pull the plow a bit easier. 
and it actually is able to pull the fertilizer spreader. Uh, the International Harvester I uh, didn't quite have enough horsepower to pull it. So this tractor actually does. Uh, it's, like, it's working out pretty good. Uh, I haven't used the planter with it, but I'm thinking they should pull the planter no problem as well. Alright, we are almost done here. Just got a couple more little passes. I love the sound of the sickle bar mower. Just the uh, back and forth, the chi 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 noise. It's very relaxing. Alright. This is it. Very, very good. We got all of this mowed up here. Let's get the mower up and off and hold it up. You see we have that area there around. So not a huge field, but it'll make a few bells. So let's uh, roll down here. We'll take a, a peek on the uh, community farm. I don't know if they have a tether or not. But we'll run down here and see if they do. Hopefully they do. They did get some cows. Looks like they have a few out there. I do like this farm. This is actually one of the uh, farms I had played on uh, during a personal play. And I do like it because it does have the, the cow pen over there. Pretty neat. Now they did have this mower out in the field, so I will put it back where they had it. But let's drive around here and quickly look and see they do have a rake so we could possibly s snag that uh, they got stuff strewed out all over the place here I'm not sure what all they have let's see huh let's check in the barn maybe nothing in there nothing around back let's check back here I am not seeing a tether so, I'm going to have to go get one. Alright, let me move this tractor back out in the field. Uh, they had it somewhere out here. I think it was across the way over here. Oh, I thought it was. Let's see, where does the the grass stop being mowed? Well, I don't know, so we're just going to leave it right down here at the corner. They can pick up from there. I think that will work out just fine. We'll just leave it right here. Alright, so I need to make my way back over to the farm. And I need to get a tether. So let me see what we have here in the shop available. Now we are trying to stick with an old school type theme. So let's see. Where are tethers? Right here. We did pick up this old far tether. It's not very big. And that's the only thing we have. Oof. That's going to take a while. Should we go... Old school and dangerous with no guard? <laughs> I think so. Let's see. Do we have some different colors here? I like the black there. That looks good. Don't know about that being an American brand or used in America, but it's the best I can do. Oh, nope. Let's see. All right. So that's the best I can do. So let me make my way back over to the farm. Uh, I did pick up another trailer. We got this old trailer here. We used it to do some work. And let's see, we have the tractor out. We're doing some plowing with. Need to get it cleaned up. And where is my... Oh. 
my other tractor is still down in the field. Let me go grab that, get it back to uh, this shed here, get it cleaned up. We got the fertilizer spreader hooked up to it. And then we'll get back down there and do a little bit of, te little bit of tedding. All right, we're almost back down here to the uh, little grass area. And you see I got the the tether hooked up to the tractor. We're almost down here. Uh, so I ended up getting the other tractor headed back down to the farm. Uh, it was down in the field. I had forgotten and left it down there at the end of the contract. Because I had to log off a little bit earlier. But we got it headed back to the farm. Oh, let's raise that back up and open it. All right, turn it on. There we go. All right. So that's working out okay. Uh, it's a little bit narrow. But I think it'll do the trick. Uh, there we go. We got our, our tractor back to the farm. We got the notification there. I was using auto drive. Got it all, I believe. Oh, let's see. I'm going to miss it, miss it. Oh, it's picking it all up. Very good. All right. Yeah, so this is going to work out okay, I believe. A little small. It's going to take a little bit of time. But I think we'll get it done. And then I think we'll go borrow the rake from the neighbors. <laughs> and use that to rake it up. And then we'll do a little bit of bailing here. We'll hopefully get some hay made before the end of this episode. And then I think what I'm going to do... Oh, there is actually some hay or some grass there. Let's back up here. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to store it. Uh, that way, in the event that we are able to get some cows at some point in the future... We'll have a little bit of hay made up for them. Or, maybe if the neighbors need some, we can sell it to them. Not real sure. But either way, we're going to hang on to it. Give us a little bit of some future cash or materials. Alright, so the uh, field has been tedded. So we're going to run down here to the uh, community farm and snag their rake. Let's see, where was it? It was right down here, I thought. There it is. We'll unhook the, uh, the tether here and then see about hooking up to the rake. Leave that right there, and then we'll ease right over here. See if we can't get past this tree and get it hooked up. And there we go. Now, I believe this only is three meters wide so it's not very big about as about as wide as the uh, tether uh, this uh, does have the option to hook multiples together but it doesn't appear they have that set up just yet so we're just going to go with uh, go with this as is now I'll tell you what this saw something that just looks good I'm going to go grab a screenshot of that real quick, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. I got a little screenshot here. Maybe I'll throw it up on the uh, the screen here and let you see what I was envisioning. Just It was a good shot. I, I liked it. All right, let me look. I don't think there are many options for this... Uh, Rake, I don't think, uh, nope, nope. 
So just uh, lower it down and I think it'll work. It looks like it's going to uh, throw it to the right. So I actually need to turn around here. Let's get it set up, lined up. Okay. Oh, 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 wrong thing. There we go. All right, I think that is going to do the trick. Yep, I know we don't have access to the land. We'll get turned around here and drop it back down. There we go. I'm going to miss a little bit of it. Got off when I was doing some mowing, so uh, that'll be okay. We'll get, get what we can. So we have a lot, of, a lot of raking to do. Uh, this is going to take a little while, I believe. This little rake, and of course, I can't use any helpers because we don't have a field here. It's just natural grassland, so I can't use a helper unless I created a course play. Of course, I could do that, uh, but I think I'll just do it, do it manually. I've done it the rest of it manually so far so it won't take all that long I don't believe hopefully it won't oh I went a little bit too far let's back up there we go all right Well, got a lot of work to do. We'll see you when it's done. This is it. The new tractor for the farm. Picked this up yesterday in game. Old Minneapolis Moline. It's a good looking tractor. Actually has the uh, option to put duels on it. It got some uh, weight configurations, but a fairly simple mod, but one that performs pretty good and looks good as well so as you see it is uh, 5 35 p.m. time is time is uh, getting away from me but I do have most of this field bailed up so we are making some good progress I believe we're gonna get all of the bales on the trailer we're only at 58 percent full so I think we'll be good there. So we'll continue on uh, getting these uh, bells made up and uh, get them loaded up. Now, one thing I did do is uh, this this baler here has the option, a couple different options for the chute, and I did have it set up to have the uh, the chute angle up to uh, load onto the wagon, but I kept having bells explode out, shoot up into the air. So I changed it to just a flat shoot and it does seem to be working out pretty well the the bells do drop down to the ground uh, but they are getting picked up by the trailer so it works out pretty good i haven't had any shoot up into the air yet so <laughs> that is a good sign i did a couple passes per row on the uh, when I was using the rake you notice they are spread out pretty wide uh, about three uh, three passes I think is what I got into each windrow just to reduce how much I had to uh, spend or how much time I had to spend bailing but they are almost too big almost too big for this baler I am missing a bit here and there So it doesn't look like we're going to get a full trailer load. 
Uh, but that's that's okay. We got most of a trailer load here, which is still quite a bit of hay. Quite a bit of hay. Hundred and eighteen bills so far, so uh yeah, not not too bad. See if we can't grab a couple of these spots here that was just a little too thick or too wide. And we had a little spillover. Don't take much to make another bell. Hmm, that was hardly any. And I don't know that we're going to make another bell. Nope. <laughs> it's going well. It is going to be really close. Really, really close. Let's see if we can grab it with this little strip here. A couple little strips over here. 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Ooh, there's a little bit over here. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. We got that extra bell. Very good. So this field or this grass area here is done. We got it mowed. Raked, tetted, belled. Free grass. Or free hay. We have one little strip there. I don't think it's going to make another bell. I'll go ahead and grab it just in case it does. And no, not enough. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So, we'll get the uh, baler picked up and turned off. Oh, let's eject that bell. Two bells. Matter of fact, let me come back here and go ahead and load those on the trailer. See if we can get that one out of there. Uh, can we grab it? <laughs> no. It doesn't look like we can. Oh. Well, that stinks. Uh, let's see if we can grab it now. It looked like the bell moved. Or shifted. There we go. Oh, can we get it? No, we can't. But I think we open the uh, baler back up. We might can. Aha! How about that? A pretty decent load of of hay. Uh, how much is on that trailer? 128 bells. I'm wondering. Will this show us? It does not. Well, well, 128 bells. They are whatever they are. So, yeah, decent amount decent amount I'll take it so got a little bit of a drive back to the farm we're going to uh, get the uh, baler detached and put back in the shed get everything cleaned up and then oh, we'll try to get the trailer with the bales in the shed too see if we can't store those in there for the time being keep them dry and then we'll go from there so guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to click that thumbs up button uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button today. And then also be sure to click the bell so you are notified of all future content. I do appreciate each of you. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you back here really soon.